Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I'm a tutor for Chegg Tutors. I usually tutor in English, math, and psychology. And today we're going to be talking about circadian rhythms. So circadian rhythms are any biological processes that display an entrainable 24-hour oscillation. And these rhythms affect many functions, plants, animals, fungi, bacteria, you name it. So circadian rhythms basically regulate the time of day in which we humans feel sleepy versus alert or awake. And this changes, it dips and rises as we go through our lives. So as infants, uh, infants really need 16 to 17 hours of sleep each night, while us adults really need about seven and a half. So the circadian rhythm also dips and rises at different times of the day. Uh, adults' strongest sleep drive is usually somewhere between 2 and 4 in the morning and between 1 and 3 in the afternoon. And uh, these dips might be less dramatic if the individual gets sufficient sleep. Changes to this rhythm occurs during adolescence when most teens experience a sleep shift uh, called a sleep phase delay. So this shift is when teens feel more awake at night, which might make it very difficult for them to get up in the morning. And so as teens have early school starts and other commitments, it might be very difficult to get the nine hours that they need uh, to have sufficient amount of sleep. The circadian biological clock is controlled by a part of the brain called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, abbreviated SCN. Um, it is a group of cells in the hypothalamus that responds to light and dark signals. So these light and dark signals uh, come from these photopigments in uh, the uh, from the optic nerve called melanopsin, and the SCN receives this information signaling the internal clock to wake up. And the way the SCN functions, uh, it functions kind of like a master clock. So it has many projections to many of our major organs, and it controls uh, many functions such as the release of hormones, uh, body temperature, and anything else that might be included in our sleep-wake cycle. Uh, the SCN synchronizes our major organs when we sleep. For example, when we enter uh, rapid eye, uh, eye movement, REM, sleep, we are essentially paralyzed so that we don't hurt ourselves while we're dreaming and so that we don't whirl around. Circadian disruptions such as uh, jet lag put us in conflict with our natural sleep patterns. And since the shift in time and light cues on the brain forces the body to alter its normal pattern, uh, it has to adjust. And that's why jet lag can leave us travelers very uh, grumpy and not being able to think properly and um, might, our cognitive processes might be slower. Um, these symptoms can also occur without jet lag. Uh, if an individual does not get enough sleep, their cognitive function might decrease as well. And because of this, it's very important to keep a regular sleep schedule and allow plenty of time for quality sleep. Um, thank you for listening. I hope you learned today. Have a great night.